Hey everyone, it's been a long while since I reviewed some Marvel Star Wars comics, and since Matt is now starting to catch up to me, I need to get some issues reviewed. So, I wasn't sure how to break this up, so I'm going to review four issues, but they aren't one story arc. In fact, they're four one-shots. We'll start off with Marvel Star Wars issue 27, and in this uh, issue, Valance the Bounty Hunter is going after Luke and C-3PO because Luke is a droid lover. Will Valance learn from his wicked ways? Well, you'll have to read it. It's an okay issue. Um, not a whole lot happens, but it leads into something in a couple issues. So we move on to issue 28, where Jabba the Hutt runs into Han and Chewie, traps them on a planet where these... I don't know what to call I guess they're like fleas? But they're robotic fleas that kill things and eat things that were a creation in the Clone Wars. And Han and Chewie have to escape. This issue is a little better. The uh, bugs in question were never mentioned in the Clone Wars. Um, anything I've read at all. I couldn't find really anything on them. Uh, interesting. Of course, Jabba the Hutt is different. It's Mosep Benid. If you've been watching my reviews, I've talked about Mosep Benid a whole lot, and he was Jabba's accountant. Yeah, um, Mosep Benid, cool character. Really like him. Moving on, we move to the next issue, which is issue 29, where Valance is going after a rebel deserter when he comes face to face with Darth Vader. And there is a fight to the death. This issue is really good. This is one of the best issues I've read so far of this series. In fact, it's one of the best Star Wars issues I've read in a long time. Um, this is a very, very dark issue. Valance has kind of changed from the previous issues and his fight with Darth Vader is awesome. It's super cool. Well worth your time. I can't spoil too much, but it's well worth reading. Then last issue I want to talk about is issue 30. It's Princess Leia's story. Uh, she's running around trying to bring rebellion and hope to this mining colony. It's a pretty fun issue. A uh, certain villain shows up that's been causing problems a whole lot lately in the Star Wars series. But we'll get into his story arc not next time, but later. Next time, I want to review uh, Mar Star Wars Annual Number 1 by Chris Claremont. So, until next time.